that time, New York was going to invade New Jersey. English Civil War ended, all kinds of land grants given as rewards for faithful service to the king. Well, the a-hole Angeles governor of New York didn't like New Jersey being established, being one in the same action as New York. You know, not by him. What to do, what to do. Plan an invasion of a friendly colony, part of the same empire across the river. But New Jersey was better defended than New York cared for it, so instead the governor of New York sent thugs, mafia style, to beat and jail Phil Carteret, the governor of New Jersey. Some things never change. Phil Carteret wasn't liked very much by the people of New Jersey anyhow, and he sure was stylish. So the Ahoa Andros attempted to finish the coup by illegal means. He believed he would have control of the proceedings. Oops. The case was moved to London and the governor of New Jersey beat the charges. But in an odd twist of fate, ruled unfit to govern. No one understands British courts. I like it. Out of the way, the New York governor was like, hey, remember me? People in New Jersey still well defended say, hey, remember us? And reject his rule. Then elect a Quaker for governor. Quakers are pacifists that would fix the Anglican Presbyterian tensions. What could go wrong? Andros is then also called back from New York for being in a... <clears throat> However, British internal politics and intrigue being the long series of unintelligible telly mysteries that it is, this story doesn't end here. <laughs> Trying to outdo a Hitchcock mind. <laughs> Centuries before Hitchcock, the king dies, the Duke of York, his brother James, becomes king, and then Aho Andros is appointed governor of New England. In that position, he finally exerted control over New Jersey. You know, because Quakers were in control and aren't known for confrontation. Cue the glorious revolution, King James II forced to advocate the throne. The a-hole Andros arrested in Boston and New Jersey finally freed. Well, nothing really changed, same old, same old. But it did set a precedent. The New York governors would be required to be dicks for the rest of eternity. <laughs>